Uh, greetings, everyone. In, in our previous video, we did discuss uh, the waiver notice by the Department of Home Affairs, or secular, to use the correct term, the waiver secular. Um, and we did explain that it does not affect holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits. Uh, but it appears there is still confusion out there after we were explained. I've been having a, a discussion with uh, uh, Subolu Lodlo and others, uh, more Comrade Subolu Lodlo, Comrade more boys, Munets and others, uh, who still think that uh, that circular is for ZEP holders as well. Let me just explain this. On the 25th of November 2021, the South African cabinet said it was not going to extend the ZEP and they allowed holders of ZEP to apply in South Africa. That was the first wave in South Africa until the 31st of December 2022. That was the grace period given. In between, the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Ntualet, then appointed a, spe a special task team headed by the former director in the presidency. Before the appointment of the task team, people applied for waivers. The majority of the people that applied were rejected, right? Rejecting letters were sent to the applicants. After the task team was put in place by the Minister of Home Affairs, the department then wrote letters to every person who was rejected. That is, the rejection is being withdrawn. And the one then assumes that a uh, the people that were receiving through VFS these applications were officials of the Department of Home Affairs. And they were following what one will call the rule book in terms of who qualifies for a waiver and who does not qualify. You will also recall that at that point, at that time, people were asked to write to the Department of Labor and Employment, where the Department of Labor and Employment will respond in writing to say, while your skill is not under critical skills or your qualifications, we agree with you and your company that there is no South African who can do the job that you are doing. And it was on this basis that people had been rejected. At that time, we advised people of low skill to write letters to state their situation because people had been rejected. I even gave an example of lecturers. One lecturing at the time uh, was lecturing at the in Cape Town, at the University in Cape Town. The other one, a researcher, a PhD candidate in KZN, was at EP Walters, and they were rejected. And they were saying, if a PhD holder, a, a, who has a PhD in media studies, gets rejected, for a waiver and for a visa. What more a patrol attendant? Right? Then after the team was put in place, headed by the former Director General of Home Affairs, I mean of, of uh, the President's, I think it's MCB, I will Google and check his name, I think it's MCB. Then the Minister released a statement saying that the advice that has been given by the task team that he put together, is that he should extend the grace period of the Zimbabwe exemption permit holders 
to 30th of June so that it will give them time to go through the submissions that have been made. Right? Later on, early this year, one would assume whether there were discussions and so forth because remember last year, I can't remember the month when Boxback, we were with the acting director for immigration. And they were asking these questions. And, and the questions that were asking him and, they, and the acting director responding, it is recorded in this YouTube channel. So you can just quickly, you go through this YouTube channel, you find his answers, right? He was not specific on how a domestic worker, a petrol attendant, a pay catch up right, or any supermarket can apply for a waiver. Right? It is only recently, which one would assume that there have been further consultations, it has been only recently that the minister, through an interview, which he did. I think it was Channel 405, Channel uh, uh, Africa, uh, I think so, News Africa Channel. That the minister, when he was discussing the issue of the 22 uh, people of Af uh, Afghanistan who had come through Bet Bridgewater Post, that he announced that he was signing waivers. Right? Later on, after that interview, I had an occasion, as I said again in the other video, uh, uh, to accompany some people who had gone to see the minister, they invited me to discuss other issues not related to ZEP. In that meeting, I then raised this issue with the minister to say, but minister, how does a petrol attendant uh, uh, get a waiver and uh, be employed in a petrol station, get given a, 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 a permit? That, and I was saying to him, that is the crisis that we are faced with. And the minister said, he is signing these waivers. Hence, we have been saying people should apply for waivers. Right. This is separate from the secular, uh, uh, which was issued on the 29th, concerning waivers, because it does not concern the ZEP holders. And I want to demonstrate this. The grace period to apply, if, if we read carefully again the grace period, the grace period to apply is 30th of June 2023. If your waiver outcome comes out, let's assume on the 15th of July 2023, way after the grace period, because a waiver is not a permit or a visa. Because once you are granted a waiver, you still have to apply for a visa. Right? A, a, after you get your outcome of a waiver on 15 July, as an example, 2023, you need to apply for a visa, but the deadline is already gone. Because the deadline is the third year. Right? So the only logical thing is that if the task team fails to meet its own deadline, which is the 30th of June 2023, and in consultation with the Minister of Home Affairs, they will then extend specifically for ZEP holders. I want this to be very, very clear. If the task team, given the work that is in front of them, because he, uh, we do not know how many waivers have been uh, signed by the minister. When I spoke to the minister, he says he's been signing thousands of waivers. We do not have a fake. But if the task team then says to the minister, honorable minister, we are unable to meet our deadline. In consultation with the minister, they will then extend, if that would be a recommendation, the grace period to accommodate those that have applied. But if you are a Zimbabwean 
who is not on the Zimbabwe special permit and uh, you applied for a waiver, the uh, 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 notice, what, what you call, uh, the notice that was sent on the 29th, the circular, which was sent on the 29th, speaks to you. Because you are not a world, we are a Zimbabwe, and we are not a world of Zimbabwe ex exemption permit. But you applied for a wave. And uh, that circular speaks to you. It speaks to a person from Nigeria, from Australia, from France, from Russia, uh, from wherever, who applied for a waiver because those are not dealt by the task team headed by the former director in the presidency. Those are dealt by the officials of the Department of Home Affairs whose numbers in another video I said if you have issues with your permit or visa outside the ZEP, you go to the website of Home Affairs, there are contacts and the email addresses of these specific officials who are dealing with the specific types of visas. So we need to separate these two. This is why even when you even go to the website, right you are applying under the zimbabwe special project that's why when when we also did that video it speaks to that uh, and we said you have to indicate that is under space zimbabwe special project so while i understand what uh, uh, the comrades are trying to raise we must stick to co official communication during COVID, during national lockdown, the Department of Home Affairs will extend the visas or visa applications for these mainstream visas, not for ZEP. If you go back to their website of Home Affairs, you go to the section under statements, you will see different statements. The issue of ZEP has never been addressed in the same statement with the other visas. It is always treated separately because it is a special project. So I'm trying to say, as I conclude, the secular speaks to a Zimbabwean who is not a holder of Zimbabwe exemption permit because there's a perception out there. It appears that every Zimbabwean is on ZEP. It's only 178,000 or less, right? We have Zimbabweans that are on different visas outside ZEP. We have never had ZEP who live in South Africa. We have Zimbabweans that apply daily for different visas in South Africa. We have Zimbabweans that apply for waivers in South Africa who are not holders of ZEP. And that the secular speaks to such individuals. Whether they are from Liberia, whether we are from Morocco, Tunisia, we are from Japan, we are from where China, it speaks, that secular speaks to those individuals. As I'm saying, if the ministerial task team headed by the former director in the presidency, uh, feels that uh, there is too much work they cannot complete in time. They are going to communicate. They are going to release a statement as they always do, which specifically address holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits in the absence of that statement at the moment we stick to what was communicated to us which said the grace period to apply for a waiver and to apply for a, a visa it ends on the 30th of june 2023 meaning all applications then should be in what we do not know is Assuming someone makes their application on the 25th of June, right, it's clear that there will be no time to abjugate. The question would be, 
will the extension in terms of issuing or communicating a decision extension only extended to those that will have applied or it will be extended to have every ZEP holder. These are the issues that uh, uh, we will be informed of. But for now, uh, 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 let's just, if you are a world of ZEP, the secular does not speak to you. If you are not a world of ZEP, like someone who approached me who is in Arari, who said, my pen applied for a waiver, does this speak to me? Yes, the secular speaks to you. Because you are not a world of ZEP. Right? So if you still have questions and you seem not understanding this explanation, you are free uh, to send your comments in the comment section. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mapena. Please like uh, this video, circulate. Uh, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also get me uh, where we do brief videos for my TikTok. Uh, channel. Thank you so much. Goodbye.